as some of you may know, I've been working on this 806 Farmel, um, working on the uh, rear end, the three point area in particular, and trying to narrow down an issue I've been having with the MCV. The MCV controls, it's a multi control valve with a, its own hydraulic pump. It controls your power steering and your power brakes and oil to your TA. So it can cause problems in those areas. It has some other functions too, but so I split the rear end right here. There's an O-ring inside there I changed because I was having problems with O-rings being old and cracking and brittle. So I figured I'd get that one out of the way. And then I pulled the MCV. Nothing really popped out at me as being a problem with it, except uh, some scoring in the pump. The pump appears to be original uh, pump, or original style pump. But there's something else I figured out after looking at the pump a little bit more in detail. So I went and took the dipstick, went by the full mark and measured where that would line up, which is roughly here. So you go and you take the line across and it's real close to the seal on the MCV pump, which I'm going to show you what I figured out with that. So for my measurements, this is, this is your inlet, which basically goes through the casting and down like this and connects to the inlet and the rear end. But your oil level sits about here. Well, that's why some people are fine running five gallons over the, the oil level because the seal's covered. I think you might be able to see where I'm going with this. This seal, well, it might not be just my seal. You can hear the play in my shaft. So that combined with the, the seal being old um, is what my problem is. The oil is leaking past the seal as it sits and then it's sucking so much air around the seal that I can't bring the oil up and prime it. Once you get it primed, it works fine. But if you're raking hay or cutting hay in the road ditches, and you go and you drive up the road ditch, you lose everything. It'll suck air on me and lose it all. Lose the power steering, lose the brakes, TA, then the tractor stops. That's not a real good thing that you want to happen when you're going up a steep incline is the tractor just stopping on you with no brakes. So, I went and I put a little bit of my put a little bit of my tire soap for checking for leaks for tires on here. And then I went and put a little air in it. And it doesn't even try to hold it. It basically blows out just as hard as I push the the button on the air gun. Okay. All I got is my thumb holding this hole and the air gun shoved in that hole. And it is that bad of a leak. So I do have I do have a pump on order 
The place I ordered it through is about 300 bucks shipped. Um, it's a little bit cheaper than some of the other places I found. And it is a high capacity pump modeled after the original Cessna pump. So when I get that in, I'll put it together. But this might be able to help somebody determine why they're having power steering, power brakes, TA issues. Because this seal with some wear in the bushings and shaft is just gone. Sucks air, hard to prime. If you farm flat ground, you might be able to limp it by, overfill it a little bit and limp it by for a long time. But that seems to be the issue right here. Thanks for watching.